Good afternoon everyone, I was just about to say good morning, but good <laughs> afternoon everyone and welcome to a Sunday afternoon um, Facebook Live with Sugar and Crumbs. So Georgie Goldball's in the kitchen and aren't I pleased that she's here. I've been chasing this lady now for nearly 18 months to get her in the kitchen, <laughs> but she doesn't drive and I didn't realise that and she's come from down south so poor hubby's had to drag her up here. So that's a bad word, isn't it? I said that about Karen Davies the other day, but bring her up here and Georgie said I can do Sunday. So we're doing a special edition today. She's brought loads of things to show you. So in a minute, I'm going to get Laura to flip over to what we're um, to what she's um, not going to demo today. The things that she can create, and the reason she's up here as well is that she's doing a demo at Renshaw Academy tomorrow and Tuesday, where you're a regular demonstrator there, aren't you? Yes, thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> so if none of you know Georgie, you are missing out on a fabulous lady. I met Georgie several years ago at Cake and Bake in Manchester. And um, at that time, we were a new company and I used to train my showgirls. So when my girls were demoing their products, I would then do, I would then act as a mystery customer. So I would have them all lined up and then I would throw questions at them. And I remember Georgie going past and then she walked away and then it was about the next show later, wasn't it? <laughs> she said, I was scared to death, Carol. <laughs> she said she had them all there like Sergeant Major going, right, what's this, what's this, what's this? <laughs> she did, she did. <laughs> Yes, she did. And uh, she actually went to one of the girls and asked, could she buy some sugars and asked them for some advice? And they said, ask Carol. She said, no, no. she scares me. <laughs> Bully came to mind, actually, but she was Get she out. Was. <laughs> there you go, get out. <laughs> I've beaten her up already. <laughs> So anyway, we've known each other a long time. I've gone and looked at her, look at her models that she does. They're absolutely amazing. I've done a class myself with her. And when I did the last class with her at Renshaw, I asked her if I could replicate a unicorn one, which looks nothing, mine look good, but nothing like Georgie's. He's still here, isn't he? This is the one I did in your class. So I think Laura can get in there. And then I think this is the one that I showed you on the live when I got all my weights wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it on the live, are we there, yeah? Can you see? Follow the cow in the book. Follow the cow in the book? Yeah, honestly, follow the cow in the book. Did you were referring to me then? <laughs> no, the cow is exactly the same as the unicorn. But when I did the book, the unicorns weren't invented. Where, Where did the unicorns come from? I do not know. If anybody I don't know, knows, but we do unicorn flavour do... ourselves really well. Do you really? <laughs> yes, unicorn flavour? What flavour is that? I don't know, unicorn flavor. I'll have to try it. <laughs> it's a mystery. You get what you're given. Yeah, unicorn flavor. <laughs> Whatever we've got left. Yep, I'll try that. <laughs> so anyhow, so these are these. So I'm just going to get Laura to ping over to these fabulous uh, um, examples of what Georgie is capable of. They're amazing. Are we over on that camera, yeah. Laura? Okay. So what can we see? Can we see everything? Pretty much. Okay. The only one we can't see is the one, the, the green one and the owls much on, on this side. Yeah, if you... Yeah. There's a the unicorn. Right, so Georgie, do you want to just come and tell them about these wonderful things? Yes. What we can do, what can we see? Can right. we see? This is the unicorn that we you did see? at Renshaw, um, which was lovely, which Carol did, and it was very, very good, and I Carol had never done a wobbly before. So if you follow the instructions in the book, step by step, this is what you will end up. Honest, honest. There's a little, little boy in the book, turned him into a pirate. The owls we're doing tomorrow, um, they're not in the book, but you've got to create different characters. So, yeah. But if you follow the guidelines of how I work, you will end up with that. The bunnies in the book and the little mouse. That's the little cow. Right. I if you put a, a column. Oh, I yeah, see. If Why? you put a nuz muzzle yes. on take the horns out, little curls and a horn, you've got a unicorn. They're just so cute, these. Have you just thought of all these? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Clever, aren't yes. you? This is Alice. Yes. Yeah. And I think we're going to call the dog Buttons now because they've right. all got names. This I made for Manchester when the Manchester disaster was on. This is the little character I oh, made. So we all love Manchester. This, these are standing up. They're not in the books. There is a wobbly law that you're not allowed to do standing up ones until you've done at least three sitting so down ones. And everybody who I do dens and workshops will tell you that. <laughs> so you have to do three sitting down Damn ones first. Because these have got wires and they're a little bit different. But if everything else is followed actually in the book. He is lovely. I love him to bits and probably will be one of my next workshops. There's the cat that we're going to do today. I've put him on a cake. I can see it. So he's lovely. I'm going to bring this one out here. Yeah. Go on, you carry on. So you've got, um, this is just a polystyrene ball I've done in for Halloween. 
um, and just put little things on, stars and a little cat down the bottom. See the little cat? He's down the bottom. Yep. Um, so it's just just different. So that's the little really cat. Fantastic. That's the little elf. Um, that is Katie Sue, our mould, I did that. I love um, toadstools yeah. and owls are my favourite. Fantastic. And these two little characters here, exactly the same as we've made Alice up here. So yes, they're all, all a little bit different and they're all quirky. And the next one I'm going to do is on this one. Tuesday so, is we're making witches. Can you see this one? Yeah. So we're doing this class on Tuesday. I'm going to attend this one with Georgie. So just to let you know that these are not edible decorations. Mm. They are made with sugar paste, but they are toppers and they're cake toppers, not cupcake toppers, Maria. <laughs> Maria did a banner as cupcake toppers. <laughs> And Georgie messaged me and said they're a bit big for a cupcake. <laughs> we so, know you like big cupcakes. Yeah. So, are we over on this camera? Yeah, not right. So, anyhow, Georgie does classes all over the country, all over the world actually. She does a lot down south and she does a lot at Renshaw class. So, if ever you want to follow her or go on one of her classes, message her on her page. And what's your page called? Is it Georgie at Sugar and Cakes? Georgie at Sugar and Cakes. So, that's where you need to go and have a look. Georgie at Sugar and Cakes. Give her a like over there, follow her there, and then if you want to go on any of her classes, you know, then message her and she'll let you know, tell her what area you're in, and she'll let you know if she's nearby or the nearest one to you. So basically, I'm going to shut up and move on. We've got lots of people here today. Hello, everybody. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> well, that was a very quiet audience. Should we do that again? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Iris Shuttleworth in the kitchen. We have Karen Griffiths in the kitchen. We have Jane Muller. Can't say it. Say it again, Jane. Just Jane. Just Jane. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Kat Riley and Jessica in the kitchen as well today. And of course, the lovely Maria and Laura here. John's in there resting. He's been on a boozy night out on Friday. I think he's still recovering. He's been out with his uni friends. So he's in the house recovering. And I'm going to go over here and watch Georgie intently because she's came today with a couple of surprises that I didn't have listed in the wish list. So if I see her use something, I'll be jotting it down so I can get it on the wish list later. Anything that you want to buy, not everything we sell. Georgie knows what items to tell you where to get them from. And then lots of things are on the wish list. For those of you who are new, let us know that you're new. And if you want to buy anything, you just pop along to the Sugar and Crumbs um, website. It's dead easy, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Go across the top to Facebook Lives and drop down and Georgie is at the top there. So everything that she's using today is in that wish list apart from some things that there's no point of stocking you can get them from craft stores really and she'll tell you where to get those and uh, she'll tell you why she prefers these types of tools so i'll let you get on georgia thank you very much thank you right we're going to make a little cat today that's our first one this is probably the most easiest um one of all the creations all the characters that i'm making today are in the book so if you follow the book step by step you will end up with one of these lovely creations. Now I use Renshaw Muddling Paste. I like it, my husband used to make all my paste, but it is hard work and they brought out the Muddling Flower Paste. It suits me, I like it, it's brilliant, it works. So there's lots of different uh, pastes out there, it all depends where you can get them from. So this paste I've coloured up with some black sugar paste. You do get Maria stick and <laughs> drag in. <laughs> I also weigh everything because if you can see a lot of my characters, they're all the same. Whether you look at all the heads of the fairies, the elephant even, the pirate, all of them are 20 grams. So if you weigh out 20 grams, buy your paste, you can buy white if you only want a small amount and colour that up. There's no good you buying 250 grams of black when you only want a little bit. So buy white and colour it up. If I'm using a lot, say on the black on the, the cat, I'll buy black. But you know, you can probably save a few pennies by um, just buying white and colouring it up. And it does colour up lovely. I mean, the chocolate on the owls, yes, you'd buy the chocolate and the red. I buy I tend to buy red and black because that's very hard yeah. to colour up. Yeah, so um, they're the two colours you do need to buy yeah, red and black, aren't they? It's no good putting loads of colour in. It does work, but... I haven't got time. 
We're too busy. I think by the time you put all the colour in, then you may as well buy a book. You might as well buy a book. <laughs> yeah. Right, I use my little scales. Now I've always, always weighed. So all the heads are 20 grams. So you can get it accurate. So I'd, if I'm only just making a head with a little nose, I would weigh out 20 grams, add a little bit for a nose, do it in white, whatever colour you're making, add a little bit, and that's all you're going to colour up. There's no waste. Right, mix that in. I use Trex. Use Trex? Yeah. yeah. They're nodding, they're nodding. <laughs> right. And guys, you can have your phone on and ask questions, you know. If oh, you please do, to. please do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be missing Cat Riley. She's usually first there. <laughs> <laughs> right, nice smooth ball. Cocktail stick. Then we're going to make our little hole in the middle. That's for the nose. If you make a nose um, on the front and it dries, it slightly shrinks, it will fall off. So your nose needs to go into that hole. Then we've got a smiley tube. Okay. We've got a fabulous audience as well, by the way. They're ever so quiet. Let me just <laughs> double check. I've just got oh. it. My broadcast is interrupted. Have we lost everybody? Um, this is still showing that we're on. All right, okay. Oh yeah, we are. Oh. <laughs> right, we've got a smiley tool. It can be sad, it can be smiley. Underneath there is your nice little face. So the nose. Oh, we're going to do the pink one. Right, pink. It's really quiet in here, isn't it's it? It's too George? quiet in here. You're like me, you like chatting. I like chatting, yeah. Can I... And you know what, I wouldn't mind, but Iris and Karen know you very well. <laughs> I'm just too intent on watching. <laughs> right, little ball. Lots of people from all over the UK watching. Really chuffed that there's a bonus session on. I'm the bonus, am I? You're a bonus, yeah. We never do a Sunday live. Oh, right. I actually know. It's great. Little bit of glue. I make it a cat. Right, so we don't really need the nail file. I don't know why I did that. Right, so that's your little nose, and that will stay in there because you've glued it into the hole. Can you just hold it up towards Oops. here for me, just so everybody can see? Just towards there. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, this equipment. Just so everybody can get a view as you go along. <laughs> so that's a smiley mouth if you're just making a character. You'll have to get right up close to that camera. Uh, okay, what, me or the cat? You, you <laughs> the <laughs> All right, a little bit. So the cat, that's if you're just doing a character. The cat has a little muzzle. So a little bit of glue. We've got people watching, have we? We have, we've oh, got yeah. plenty. We're up to 136 so far. No pressure. <laughs> right, and we use my... Uh, the, the, little, six, the six missing because we're in here. <laughs> <laughs> the little palette knives. These little palette knives are absolutely fantastic. If you are a beginner or even if you're experienced, these are really worth. You've got them, haven't you? Yes. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, they're they're fabulous. Fabulous. I use them for the nifty nozzles all the time. They're brilliant. Good. And we're making. Can you see that? So I've made him a little mouth and he's got his nose on. Bring him towards the centre for me here. When you're showing the audience, you need to be on that camera. And when you're talking to Laura... There. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I've been moved, folks. <laughs> Look at Laura getting Thank off you. She, we, Me and her had a chat before. Well, so I then. don't know. Do you know what I struggle with? Where the actual camera is on there. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't know where it was either. So. Right, eyes. Eyes can be a bit tricky. Not with this. No, eyes. Two holes. Now, if you want a nice little cat, don't do the eyes wide apart because they look quite evil. <laughs> Always keep your eyes together. So if you're doing a fairy or something cute, keep the eyes close together. If not, they really change characters and look evil. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, no, excuse me. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Right. And we use little white balls. What are those two in there? It's little weird. white sugar balls. It's weird, though, with hobbies. Um, sorry, I need to go and stand behind Laura because you're keeping me over here. It's weird though when people make models, they always say they can't get their eyes right and they look evil, yeah. which is right what you said. It's because they don't put the dots in the right place, isn't oh, it? Yep. So we push those down there. Right. Okay. 
you see. They look nice. Can you show me? I can show you. I'm not going to get my pen. Somebody need to go and see my husband and get my black pen up. What do you need? Drop your hand down for me. Perfect. And what do you need? My black pen out the car. Black pen, is it for his eyes? Yes. I've got one. Thank you. Right. Oh, welcome to the wish list. So you think you've got everything and when you get here you haven't, right. So that's the um, little head, take that off. And if we put him on the phone, then he would stay nicely. Have you got, you've got a bottle she has, isn't she lovely? Right, whiskers. We're using thin wires. Thank you. So these are 20, what wires are these? 28. Are they 28? Yeah, 28. I slip a few bits of these. There you go. And you can pay hairdressers later and snip them into the right there. I've got to get these made first. Can you see? When you push them up to the camera, you just gotta pause. Oh, have you? Yeah, because of the, ca the camera doesn't focus in to get it. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I do it all the time, don't worry. It has to, you have to hold it for a second. Just drop your hand down for me. Down <laughs> a bit more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, It's not you should go left a bit more. Yeah, I know. I'll do that. <laughs> I'm with our pen. You didn't charge the camera. <laughs> right. We're going to do two little dots. I'll have to go down here to do this. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. Up to 151 now, George. Mm. So they need to see what you're doing. Coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, there's lots of, sorry, I've been not been looking at the comments like you asked me to, Georgie, and we've got Hi Nanny from Charlie. Oh. There you go. <laughs> it's my grandson. Oh, no pressure. pressure. <laughs> Amelia should be on soon, shouldn't she? Yeah, Amelia will be here in a minute. Great. Thank you. Yeah, they're on holiday. They're in Mallorca. Ah, fantastic. There you are. Claire's also shouted his hand on. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> right, okay. Right, take that off. Rest that on your phone and then you won't mark. Ears. Now, ears are one gram each. There. I'm looking. I know. Right, right, one gram each. So we're about two grams. They're only little. Silence in here, mm. isn't there? God oh dear. Right. Oh, Amelia said hi as well. Is she? Yeah. Hello, Amelia. <laughs> How many grandchildren have you got then? Three. <laughs> Three. So we've got Charlie and Amelia. Who are we missing? Harry. Harry. <laughs> so I presume Claire is Amelia's mummy. Yes. Yeah. And Charlie. And then we've got... Um, um, David and Jane have got Harry. Right, cut that in half. Well, David's on watching. <laughs> David? Yeah. My son. <laughs> I've got a fan club, folks. <laughs> <laughs> right. My daughter could have been tuned in. Is she? Is she? <laughs> <laughs> they all know about the wobblies. Oh, Vicky's on, yeah. <laughs> right, all tall. Am I right doing it like this? Yeah, right. yeah that's fine. That's a lovely teddy bear ear. If you want a pussycat ear, leave that in and squeeze. And that gives you a pussycat ear. Right, glue, just a little bit of glue. What glue do you have? Carol? So we use all of them. So we've got Kate Star, Squires, we've got any glue. You can make your own glue, can't you, with a tie? Yeah. That's what I've done. And you push that in. Yep, so that's one ear. Oh, David Rose said he is Charlie. He must be on his dad's account then. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so David isn't watching. No, he's Charlie watching. Charlie on his dad's account. <laughs> right, good. So everything you do, George, if you can sort of be very, you're going to have to pull right in near the camera. This way? Yeah. Right, exactly the same. Because you've got, you've, you've cut one ball in half, you've put the same ball tool in, you've squeezed, both those ears are going to be the same. A bit of glue at the bottom 
and pushing. Up a bit. That's it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Getting good at this. <laughs> But once you get to know your camera, that's good. You just so you just went down a little bit too low, but then up there. <laughs> right, just sorry, up folks. I'm really sorry. Just up a bit. Keep going. Right, now stay there. So watch Stop. where your hand is there now. <laughs> that's where we need to be. Okay, I'll remember. <laughs> Not. Right, just leaving on your foam pad to dry. Okay. The bodies. I've made this one um, a couple of days ago, so it's nice and hard. You need to make the bodies at least a day before to make them go nice and hard and firm. You can't work on these bodies which are all soft and squidgy. Um, you're going to leave marks in them, they're going to sink and it, you're distorting them, especially when you put the head on. So make them the day before. Now I know this is difficult because once we start we like to do it and get it done but you can't do it with these. Right, so all the bodies are... Anybody know? Barrels. No, wait. wait no. <laughs> barrels. <laughs> you say my cat's a barrel. No, <laughs> well, no 45, 45, 45 grams. Oh. So whether you're making the unicorn or the fairy or a bee or an elephant, they're all 45 grams. And that, that gives you an idea of when you're making things, that if you keep it to 45 grams, you'll all have them the same and you'll remember the weight. So the head is the right proportion to the body. Nothing's worse than looking and seeing pictures when they've got great big feet or great big bodies or little tiny heads. So I've worked it already out for you. So 20 gram heads, 45 gram bodies. Top of the class. One gram each. One gram each. Oh, excellent. Oh. <laughs> See, are we good? <laughs> I've paid them actually. <laughs> right. <laughs> you will be tested at the end of the afternoon. <laughs> Take us right back to cake and bake days. <laughs> right. 45. Taking it off now, not putting it on. Right. So your scales, if anybody wants to buy the scales, they can private message you and buy them direct from you, can't yes, they? Yes, yes. How much are they? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. So anybody who wants these scales, they're tiny little scales, they're fantastic. And all you need to do is go over to Georgie's page, which is I would go on my Facebook page actually and leave me yeah. a message. I think it's yeah. better. Now, my Facebook page is Georgie Godbold, G-O-D-B-O-L-D. -D. You can't have I love my wobblies on a Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it started off. Look, I laugh not. I love my wobblies. Why I ever, ever thought, now I've told over 100 people my secret, I love my wobblies. <laughs> Is I've that what you were called before? Wasn't ten, it? When I started and bought the first pair, which are these, yeah. 10 years ago, so yeah. you can tell how long I've had them, yeah. it was I love my wobblies. And then found out, because I was new to Facebook, and so was Facebook, it wasn't a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really wasn't. So you had lots of strange requests, did you? <laughs> definitely. And I saw a lot of strange things. <laughs> children here but it's not I love my wobblies it's Georgie Godbold so if you go into there um you will find me do not google sugar wobblies no so so if you go to your page <laughs> private message you yes say they want to buy a pair of scales off you and then let me know sort that yes we sort that out there's no problem it's got that one out the way <laughs> but that is exactly I know yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's Hello. amazing, a nice, innocent little thing yeah. can actually not become that, can't yeah. it? I love my wobblies. Yeah. <laughs> right. How many grams am I weighing out? 45. Ooh. <laughs> well done, Iris. Right, just need a little bit of Trex to just bed. <laughs> right, need. Right, and you're a nice smooth ball. Poor Brenda McLeod, she's on the third night of her sixth night duty, <gasps> but she's woke herself up to make sure she watches you. She should be asleep in bed ready. Oh, hi. Wow. <laughs> There's a few people that are holding back their Sunday lunch. Oh dear. <laughs> nice smooth ball. Put it on your board. Nice. Now I use a certain store's cocktail sticks. Can I name yeah, them? Yeah, of course you right. can. Right, Tesco's. <laughs> right. I'm sure they're the same anyway, aren't they? No. No? Are they really not? 
not, no, because oh, some not. have little funny tops, some have got funny bottoms, and some are shorter. Oh, but right. the Tesco, oh, perfect. Right, oh, okay. It looks the same as that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Oh, you're getting it now. Oh, <laughs> right. So that is the start of all the wobblies, and then we, we dress them. Legs. This one, we're not putting legs in, but if I wanted legs, and I'll show you later, then I'll put the holes in now, so the, when the paste is nice and soft. But that's the starter of all wobblies, and as you can see, that's the head. So let that dry, if you possibly can. Let me put that down. Right, let's get some of those balls back. Right, legs. So I've glued him on a little board. These lovely little boards. They're perfect. And they can go on the top of the cake. These are absolutely fine, but as Carol said, they're not for eating. These little characters are just purely decoration. They've got cocktail sticks in, they've got pipe cleaners in, they've got lots of things in which you can add which are not edible. If I was making this and giving it to somebody on a cake, I would even write a little disclaimer, do not eat the top decoration. And that's it. You have to do that now. Yeah. yeah. I don't make many cakes. So. Right. Um, pipe cleaners. As I'm sure you know, pipe cleaners come in loads and loads of different colours and stripes now, which are fantastic. Hobby craft, online. I got mine on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. If you yeah. just put pipe cleaners in on Amazon, yeah, get you get them. loads. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've got a couple of people asking um, about the book. They're not aware of the book or the name of the book or where to I buy it from. The They're on the Sugar and Crumbs website. Oh and goodness. these are what Georgie's holding up now. Yep, they're my books. Thank you very much. Do you want to just show them? Those are what I bought off Amazon. Goodness gracious. Look at those lovely oh glittery gosh. ones for Christmas. Yeah. We can have glitter angels. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them. How many pipe cleaners? I think I'll be giving them away to anybody who buys any. How many week. are you going to make? <laughs> <laughs> this is what they call a jumbo pack. <laughs> there we are, for your glitter fairies and anything else that glitters. <laughs> yeah. right. Georgie's books, by the way, are on the website and they are in the wish list. So if you want to grab those, feel free to grab them as well. Don't use your best scissors for cutting um, pipe cleaners. Right, so there's one pipe cleaner cut in half. One pipe cleaner makes one character. So that can be used for the legs and this can be used for the arms, depending on what you're doing. Right, so we're going to bend that pipe cleaner in half, squidge the top. <laughs> I've just got a cross on this, so I'm going. Yes, that goes behind the cocktail stick and we go and put them at the bottom so your legs are then done right right your front paws your front paws are 15 grams now you can weigh them out individually they're 15 grams I mean, telling you about the sugar, what I love my wobblies, shows you how long I've had these scales, and I think they're used every single day. And you can, is, what's also good is they've got a tear button on. So if you're doing things like mixing powder with water, you can weigh out your powder, press the tear button, and then add your water. So mm. it's great. They're, they're brilliant. It? Yeah. So you want 15 grams. If people don't know what tear means, it means clear it. Yes. So it clears and starts again. Yeah. Sorry. No, and it took me a while. Yeah, sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I never pressed it at first because I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> and they go ounces, they do uh, quartz, they, they're jewellery scales as well, um, so they do grams as well, so yeah. they've got quite a few things in there. Right, cut that in half. Again, as I said, if you've got the little scales, you can weigh. That right, one ball. So you want two nice smooth balls. So there's your front paws. And 
tomorrow. I won't do it here. Just move a bit more into the centre. Yes. Put a little bit on the top. Right. So you've done your feet and I put a little bit of glue on there. Now we're also showing you the cutters that I absolutely love and I've had probably longer than 10 years are these geometrical FMM cutters which I believe Carol's um, got on your wish list. Um, so if you look at all of these whether you're doing a hat or um, Everything, everything here is more, all these hats here are done with the circle cutters, the hair's done with the circle cutters. So they're all used, I use these FMM cutters which are absolutely lovely. We're going to put a little tummy on this one. Pink, I'll give you my pink tummy to go with these pink nose. So there he is, there's the feet. Right, let's roll this one out. Pin Carol, please. Have. This is because I'm doing umpteen things this week. I apologise. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> I just have to locate everything in this place now. I don't know anything it's is. all new and sparkly yeah. and lovely. Right. As you see, this rolls out nice and thin. Always put your cutter on top and pull up. Then you get a nice smooth edge. A little bit of glue. When you put glue on, don't go to the edge. Just go in the middle. Because as soon as you put the um, tummy on, the glue will disperse and come out around the corners, you know, around the edges. So don't do that. Right, we've got the tummy there, we have the tummy there. And press it down. Okay. Everybody all right with that so far? Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Keep on the stairs, all right? <laughs> <laughs> we have the balcony and stairs here. Which kind of fun. <laughs> right, so we've got this one, and it's going over there. Little feet can go in front. So if I push the pipe cleaner in there, there's the feet. Over the back, a little bit of glue down the on the board. Push them down, push that down. and that fits. Two lines. And you're pushing that paw back onto the body. Like that. Okay. So that's the front legs. Back legs. Everybody, all right with that? Just drop it down a little bit for me. Perfect, that's fine where you are. Perfect. I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna have back legs and the back legs are 20 grams. And the heads are? 20. Heads. Well done. 20. You can have a present. You can have a pipe cleaner, there you go. <laughs> I've got a few. <laughs> I do give out fantastic prizes at my workshops and don'ts. <laughs> right. 20 grams. Put it around the back a little bit longer. And all you're doing is putting this around the back of the body. A little bit of glue. Don't use too much glue. We always tend to get glue happy. And um, it all goes everywhere. Can you pop it onto the red board? Is that okay? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Okay. You can push that in there. Wrap them around. Two little lines. Is that all right? Yeah, that's great. Push that down again. A lot of very impressed people. Good. Yeah, there is. Am I doing all right, folks? Yeah, you're doing all right. Right, a little bit of glue. All you've got to do with this if you want to do a dog, is like change the ears. Have long floppy ears. Put the head on. Put the head on sideways. What made you start doing these, Georgie? 
I've always loved modelling and I've always loved cute, funny things. Yeah. And I just sat down one day and decided to kind of streamline them and it just kind of... All come together. All come they together. Are stunning, all of them. Right, so I'm going to make a little bit more dark of the eyes and the other little bit of pipe cleaner. Ta -da. Hold the end, right round. And I've still got the first one I made at home. Have you? The yeah. very first one? Yeah. But she was a little tiny weeny one. Yeah. And I've still got it. <laughs> so cute. And I'm just going to um, add to those eyes in a minute because they need to be a little bit darker. Two sets. That's a very, very quick little cat. He's absolutely a fabulous little cat. So cute. We like our little pussies. <laughs> and this one was called Claire after my... <laughs> <laughs> but this one, this one was called, this one was called Claire all after all my daughter. <laughs> They've all got names. And um, we're now going to make a bow while they giggle over there. Right, a bow, a quick bow. I'm just going to shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> right, you still need the modelling um, and flower paste. For this one in green. They absolutely love it, Georgie. They really do. All right, right. I'm using some green. Still need your flower paste. Now, there are some lovely bow moulds, bow cutters. But if you just need a quickie little bow and you want it a certain size, and probably the cutter you've got or the mould you've got isn't the right size you want, just try this method. It's quick and easy. Right, Claire Fitzsimmons is asking a question. She says, uh, she remembers you telling her that if you haven't got any black beads for eyes, eyes and yep. they're difficult to find, use peppercorns. Is that right? No. No, that's what don't, she says. Don't remember saying peppercorns because I wouldn't have even thought. Actually, that's a very good idea. <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't use peppercorns. I think, she said, I think she might have said, could we use peppercorns? Oh, could you? Actually, yeah. Yes, of course you can. I don't see why you can't. I'll have a look at the peppercorns. Okay, it's actually, she's, she's asked you a question and then she's given herself the answer. <laughs> oh, I see. So I remember you telling me, Georgie, that the black beads for eyes are difficult to find. Yes. Space. Could we use peppercorns? Yes, you can, but I think these beads now are available in so many different places. When yeah. I started, they weren't available, yeah. but now you can buy all these little beads, in, in sugar beads, in everywhere. Discos. Yeah. Somebody's asking me, could Sue Barker say, could you make some dog's ears? Yes. Or maybe a quick dog, Joe Fitchett says. Does she want a great day or a Labrador? <laughs> I'm glad that someone's still has come back to say she was suggesting it. My That's, fault, thank Claire. you very much, Claire. Yeah, thank it was you. my fault. I, I read it all as one sentence instead of the phrase. Absolutely lovely. Right, we're going to make a quick bow. Oh, Cam Moore wants a unicorn. Have you got to do a sketch show tomorrow? Would you? <laughs> Not on night duty. <laughs> right, Hubby's taken me out. Is he? He doesn't know it yet. No, he doesn't. <laughs> right, a strip. So. Depending on how big you want the bow, so about that big. The next strip is about half that width. Silence here. We're all, we're all concentrating. A little bit of glue in the middle, not much. Oh yeah, Labrador monkey. <laughs> Crikey. Right, turn that one over. Lock the door, Laura. <laughs> Anywhere, Labrador dog's ears, monkey to do, <laughs> and a unicorn. <laughs> no pressure. Right. So you flip those into the middle, then you turn. So it's flip, and then squidge. So all you have to remember is flip and squidge. Put that round. And then that says, while we are making suggestions, what about a dragon? <laughs> Just to finish you off. No. <laughs> I love it. We're up to 161 years now. <laughs> right, so how's that for a quick bow? Wonderful. Yes. That is so easy to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really simple. 
There you go. Don't forget the cat. <laughs> She's going to come up with something else in a minute. <laughs> a little bit of glue. Who's in charge of the feet and the legs? Oh. <laughs> you just are. <laughs> okay, I was going and you to have a little bit of patience. I think maybe don't put my cocktail stick right at the top, I think, possibly. Where are you buying the correct cocktail stick? I don't know where Lynn's coming from, but she's up for a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, we're doing cat stuff and animals here. Motorbikes don't come into it. Having <laughs> said that, Iris is looking for a bike. She wants a mountain bike, Iris. So if you just knock one of them up, that sorts her out this week. Giraffe. <laughs> For a son's cake. Right, okay. <laughs> Giraffe. <laughs> Giraffe. Are these yeah, all on your, are these people friends of yours? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. right, let me just clear I this. I think this is Challenge Georgia. Challenge Georgia. <laughs> Challenge Georgia. Right, we are now going to make a pink elephant. Oh. Like Sorry guys, you're getting a cat and elephant, and what else are we doing? I haven't today? decided. <laughs> yeah, decided. So we're getting a cat and an elephant. It might be a flower fairy. A flower fairy, that'd be nice. To finish off, right. Exactly the same, the body, 45 grams. This time I've put two little holes in the front because the elephant's got feet. He's over there. Pam Moore says, you're not going, you're not going anywhere because she's not doing her husband's dinner today. <laughs> she's sat here watching you. <laughs> well done, Pat. Pam. Oh, Pam. Apologise. I Pam, did Pam. say Pat. Right, this is pink. How many, how much for the heads? 20. Well done. You can have some pipe cleaners. <laughs> Carols. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to the flower fairy as well, and they love elephants. Good. So they're very excited. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. I know what to do. And we've got one of our male followers with us today, John Leslie Walter. He only he puts John N. Leslie Walter. He doesn't tell us what the N's for. But John N. Leslie Hello, Walter. John. Do you know John? No, hello. I do know. Hello, John. Just follow us on Sugar and Crumbs here. Oops. Rita wants to know, have you ever actually made a dragon? Yes. There's, yeah. Oh, no, dinosaurs in the dinosaurs, book. Dinosaurs, isn't it? No, yeah. dragons probably to come, actually. They seem to be the very popular. Right, and Sue Berger says, carry on doing as much as you can because hubby's doing the prep for dinner and if she carries on watching you, he might actually cook it. <laughs> <laughs> can you cook mine? <laughs> can right. see roast, <laughs> That's nice. My husband's probably gone to sleep in the car. <laughs> I did offer him a seat in the house, but he refused. <laughs> so he wanted to play with his phone and his sat nav in the oh, car. I wasn't yeah, quite yeah. sure what was going on. So I left him. <laughs> Right, smooth boy. <laughs> smooth boy. Falls asleep. Right, nice smooth boy. Really cup of tea. Right, so we're going to make the trunk. So it's still 20 grams. Can you see what I'm doing? If you drop your hands down a little bit for me. A bit more? A bit more. Perfect. That's lower than last time. Is sure it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And stroke. Ah, oh, here we go. So there's always one. There's always one question that has nothing to do with the lie, but we'll answer it. Will we? So Jan Carter says, "Going away from what you're doing, could you tell me how to apply ribbon to a cake without glue showing through?" Another day, Jan. We're doing models today. <laughs> Double-sided tape. Absolutely. <laughs> and print stick is good. Yeah. So did you see what I did? All we're doing is smoothing that trunk over your finger. And there's your trunk. Ah, we now know John and Leslie Walter. So it's two people sharing their Facebook page. So she said it's, um, what she say? Sorry, Carrie, you got it wrong. Leslie is the female. 
Lovely. Uh, who is the follower of Sugar and Crumbs, who she shares a page with with her husband, hence John and Leslie. Mm -hmm. and ah, Leslie. Mm. John and Leslie Walter. Oh, God. I, think <coughs> that I thought we'd had a man called John mm. and Leslie Walter following us. Anyhow, hello, Leslie. Just saw fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> it's very quiet. Isn't it? It is good. Another idea for eyes, if you can get them, are stamens. You know the big stamens you put in cakes? Oops, big stamens yeah. you put in cakes. Yeah. Um, sometimes I can get them, sometimes I can't. So if anybody gets any or finds anybody, any of them, please let me know because they are brilliant. <coughs> Excuse me. So I put those in. Stamens though on the wires. No, you haven't got time. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was asking if you, did, you haven't got any stamens, could you? You could make them on the wires though, really, couldn't you? Not you. I meant if somebody was. Uh, tapping. yes, of course you could if you've got six hours to spare. Yeah. <laughs> so there's your olive eyes um, and uh, make sure you have the pupils going the right way. You want either them going to the left or the right, or both in the middle. It does look funny when one pupil is going towards the left and one pupil is going towards the right. Mm, nothing worse than a cross-eyed They elephant. really look cross-eyed and peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> Try and let them the go run. in the same way. And I've, I've had that. <laughs> or a deranged elephant on the run. Yeah. And they get pushed inside. Right, now if I make a mistake, and I, the pen slips um, and it doesn't look right. Don't, you'll never get that stamen out. The best thing you can do is push that stamen into the back of the head and put another stamen in, in top. You will not know how many stamens are in some of these backs of the heads. Yeah. <laughs> until well, that must bring up another question from your delightful son, David, because he said, ask her about the bunny ears. Have you had problems about the bunny ears? I never have problems with bunny ears. Well, David got pulled. <laughs> have said, ask about the bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't. <laughs> All right, no, 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 no. When they were little, and I used to give them Easter eggs, Yeah. I used to eat the ears. Um, so my children never knew till they were about ten that Bunny had ears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. I love that on here. Right. Go and cook the dinner. Right, a little bit of glue. And put that on at an angle. Okay. Everybody all right with that? Yeah. Always have them kind of tilted. It looks as though they're in character. You know, you want them, you don't want them staring straight at you, just twist them down. So that's a little quickie elephant. Ears. The ears I'm going to do with heart, little heart cutters. Again, FMN, speak to Carol. As it is. There are lots of good makes on the market. Just don't buy Chinese rubbish. Sorry, should see that because it doesn't work. They might be cheap. Some of these tools, and they're probably fine if you've got little ones. They just want to start off, but don't. It's one of my pet, pet hates. Yeah, the best tools are the FMM ones. FMM. Aren't they? Yeah. FMM or the PME ones. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Those paint ones that you use in there, we sell as a tool set, but they are the cheapest version. Which ones? The ones These. that you've got, yeah. They're, the, they're no, lovely. The pink, the pink ones. These. 
Yeah. I like those, they're pink. I haven't got pink ones. <laughs> but they are a cheap set for a starter set. Yes. But when yeah. you want to start buying quality and investing, yeah. you should buy the FMM or the, yeah. or the PME yeah. one. Don't, um... So Rita says she's sorry. She didn't mean a dragon, she meant a dinosaur for her great grandson who is mad on them and he is free in December. <laughs> oh, I've got to find these ladies. Here we go. That's a dinosaur. Yeah, so if and you he's buy called the book, Charlie after my grandson. So, yeah. So if you buy the book, guys, the dinosaur is in the book. And, she, and Georgie has already told you that the bodies are 45 grams, the heads are 20 grams, and all you've got to do is change all the other little bits. Yep. Carol Bishop said she bought cheap and it's not worth it. It's never worth buying cheap, but nope. I do understand people have a budget and mm. they've got to start out. Yeah. That's the same with our nifty nozzles, only bad quality. <laughs> you told Amelia off, did you know that? Pardon? Amelia came up to you and said, I can't get them to work, and she bought. Rubbish. I mean, she's she got told her. ones now. She has she? and she loves them. Yeah. Yes. All right, a little bit of glue. Again, not too much. Place that. Just hold it for a second. That's a clever idea. It's certainly yeah. I am terrible. I can go out and see something. We went out, my husband. <laughs> And this man walked in with a spotty bow tie, and I went, oh! <laughs> and he went, don't you dare. <laughs> a clown, a clown, I can make a clown. <laughs> <laughs> so how's that? Absolutely brilliant. Love the idea of doing the ears like yeah. that. That's really simple, isn't it? And because you've got a good modelling paste and flower yeah. paste, they stay. Yeah. What did we do? Oh, I put a bow. Are we all right for time? I mean, I haven't got a clue what the time is. I don't know either. <laughs> it's just, just three o'clock. Oh, crikey. Have we done two hours already? No. One. One. Oh, it's not that two. Two. We <laughs> just, I forgot. Just, I was thinking we started at one. Sorry. I was thinking that's going so quickly. <laughs> well, I am going. <laughs> So once you've bought these um, little heart cutters, you know, apart from going around a cake and decorating them, if you've got a, if you've made a cake, I mean that's beautiful, isn't it? If you've made a cake, sorry, and it's not very good around the bottom, put your hearts all round yeah. the bottom, like that. Yeah. All in different colours. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Looks it? lovely. Yeah. So now the paste that we're using is the Renshaw Flower and Modelling Paste. Now to be fair, Georgie is a big fan of it and Marion Frost from Patchwork Cutters says it's amazing for her cutters as well. She uses the same one. Mm. And it also depends on your hands. If you've got very, very hot hands, some paste, whether it's the best and you've paid loads of money, just doesn't work because mm. of your hands. Yeah. So it's sometimes not, not as actually the paste. It also is where you can get the paste from. Yeah. I mean, we're in Chelmsford. We have a huge place. Um, we haven't got a... I'm doing the heart again because I mucked it up. Um, we haven't got a sugar shop. Yeah. We've got Hobby Craft, which is brilliant now. That's, yeah. They're really... Um, we're, doing the, we're doing the demo down there in a few weeks. Oh, are you? I, I, dem, I dem in Hobby Craft. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Chelmsford. Yeah, we're doing a live there. Are you? Yeah, headquarters. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, I do it in Chelmsford. What do we do? Right, concentrate on what you're doing. Right. There we are, look, that's all with the little heart cutters. Right, feet for elephants. Let me have a look. I can't possibly remember all these. <laughs> you do well, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, he is lovely, isn't he? Right, again, pipe cleaner. Pink one. Feet. But nobody can believe how little Jess is, how quiet she is in the kitchen, aren't you, Jess? Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying it, Jess? How old are you, Jess? Ten. Ten. Oh, yeah. just right. 
Right, we're doing the feet and the paws. <clears throat> and uh, so as you can see that little one up there. And the feet and the paws are 20 grams. You can either weigh out five grams or start off with 20 and just cut it into four. This my first one is a, is a little tiny weeny one. I mean, you're not using this paste, just keep it in a sealed plastic bag so it, it doesn't dry out. Yeah, don't wrap in cling film, it'll dry out. No, yes, film. just use these nice, um, like freezer bags, yeah. best. Yeah. Might need that well. And you want discs, so you're making each one into a round ball. They're quiet in here, aren't they? Yeah, it's going quiet again. We're all concentrating. <laughs> Such a good demo. <laughs> and to make a disc, put it on your board and flatten it. Turn it over, flatten. Anything? No, they're all watching. Right, Georgie wants some questions. They're <laughs> <laughs> all watching. Not from my family. <laughs> Your family have been very active on here this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I've paid them. No. <laughs> what diameter are your little boards? Four inches. Yeah. A bit of glue at the side, a little bit of glue at the side. Put that one on there. Okay. So these are for his back legs. Oh no, front legs really. It, it depends how you think of him sitting up. If you take a photograph of that, the, the ones on the boards are the back legs, the ones at the side mm. are like the front legs. Right, so that's that. These might be a little bit long because I've got them on smaller boards. A little bit of glue, you don't need much. And push that in and you can feel it going in. Don't, don't let it come out the back. Okay. That's it. The same with that one. Uh, Jackie Richard says, do you glue the disc onto the top of the cake? Or do you just use the board to put the topper on? If I was if I was doing it as a whole cake, I'd just put a little bit of royal icing. Yeah. Yeah. But at the moment you just sit him on there for, yeah, for presenting. Yeah. 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 Lindsay McIver says we're all engrossed, Carol. That's why they're not saying anything. A little bit of glue. A little bit of glue. And Karen Blake says sugar and crumbs icing bags, when they're empty, are fab for storing sugar paste. And oh. to be fair, I store sugar paste in the bags as well. So I, I open, I cut the bag. Never thought of that. So you know, I, so you know, you just cut, I just cut it at yeah. the top, yeah. and then t put the sugar paste in. I've got over and tie a bow and tie it tight. Hey, look at him! How cute! Da 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 da! Give those little bats up. What a cutie! <laughs> finished it. <laughs> and then the arms. Now the arms are twenty grams as well. So I've tried to make this easy by keeping the lots of the sizes all the same, and you get used to it. So Pam, the, the unicorn's not in the book because when um, Georgie wrote the book, she did say this earlier, um, unicorns weren't out though. So she said, if you follow the cow, the cow in the book, then you'll be able to make your unicorn. It's the unicorn. It is the unicorn. Perhaps we'll put them side by side. All he is hasn't got the nostrils and he's got a horn. Yeah, let's go that's, get that. I'll, yeah. go, I'll go and get the cow and the... Uh, Cow's in the front with the milk. Yeah. I called my lovely friend Sue. Yeah. I think she said, why am I called the cow? 
And I went, it's not, it's a little calf. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody had to be. <laughs> no, nobody knew they were in the book. Did he not until, tell them? No. <laughs> no, and then I was out to dinner with all my friends and my husband turned up with the book. And I thought, oh my goodness, is everybody here that I admit they were? <laughs> Why am so I a cow? If they follow the cow, yeah. this is the unicorn I did with you at Renshaw. Yeah. Have you got both those in there? Um, could you put it on either side? Oh, yeah. How's that? Yeah, so the cow's yeah. in the book. So all you're going to do is just change the colour slightly and add a bit more hair, yeah, aren't exactly you? Exactly the same. Put a horn in, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Easy. Easy. Oh, they use my magnet, my, my magnet bag, bags as well. There, Andy. <laughs> I know I'm fiddling with the weights, but you you get the correct sizes. Right, these are for the arms. So you can push those toppers out now. Give me some space. I need space. I've got to clear. I can't pick them up. Grab him. There we go. Just grab him. He's alright. He's well, well travelled. That might be a rough of this it's one. Well travelled. Right. Getting this dark pink from somewhere. Right. Da -da 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 -da. Cut in half. And make each half into a long sausage. So that's going to sit on there. And that's going to go up to there. So that sits on, and that goes. Turn it round and have a look. Yes. Let's make it a bit smoother. I'm getting dark pink from somewhere. Is that all right? Yeah. So you want two of those. So it's just a sausage, and it's tapered. That's all it is. So they're very easy, got two of those. A little bit of glue on each hoof. And a little bit of glue down the side. That sits on there. There's one. It's not until you're actually getting all together. Then we have a mark on that hoof, and a mark on that one, and a line on that one, and a line on that one. And then just to finish him off, you can put tummies on them, you can put flowers, hearts, bows. <laughs> your roses if you're flower makers make your roses this is for quickness i buy them can you hold him up and yeah. um, just tilt him keep him on the red board but i forgot the tail oh the tail. right okay oh, sorry it's just because from this angle you can't see his, his face. face that's all little sausage exactly the same as you did for the arms a little bit, bit of glue up the back a very very quick elephant fantastic but it looks nice with a big bow um, you can texture the heart there's lots of things you can do okay can i have sorry. two seconds while i clear <laughs> i'm sorry yeah, yeah. and then we'll start again <laughs> i've just gone to get everybody a drink of water so there's a couple of people i think might have missed the beginning or have just joined us yep um, so we were the feed is originally called cat cake toppers, but we've gone through a range of animals. <laughs> so yeah, that was the elephant. The elephant. <laughs> that's because Georgie told us we were only making cats. <laughs> then I thought that's a lot of making cats. I mean, <laughs> she knew that when she was here, they were going to ask for everything else. 
Do you want me to stop now then? No. Oh. No, no, no. No, no. Carry on. Do you need to drink water? I'll get on the top of there. Thank you. Your hobby's watching in the car, listening to everything he says. Oh, he's not, is he? Hi, dear. <laughs> Prosecco comes after this. <laughs> Just got a liking to pink Prosecco. Oh, I had loads of lovely pink Prosecco for my birthday. That's it, I'm hooked. <laughs> it's, it's very nice pink Prosecco. It's very nice, very yes. Nice. I don't cream, so I wouldn't do No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> it doesn't go with the wobblies at all. Maybe that's what creates it. Have you done, yeah? <laughs> well, I've done those two, and I've got another one if you want it. It's up to you. Yeah, no, we've got the sugar fairy today. That's what I mean, we went to the sugar fairy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Don't it's think you're slave, getting out. Slave. Remember the first time I met her? <laughs> Crack and they'll start crying if you don't do the fairy. You've told them now. <laughs> right. So just explain why you've already pre done the bodies and heads for because those who forgot. Takes, it takes too long. So yeah. the body is. <gasps> no, 45. 45. <laughs> 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 the body is 45 grams, all the same. Yeah. The head is 20, 20 grams. grams. See, they're learning. 20 grams. And there's the eyes in that one. Now the body, all I've done now is I've got the little blossom cutters. Down there? Yeah. Look. Yep, little blossom cutters. And I'll show you a very, very easy way of doing blossoms. Now I like blossoms, as you can see, they go with everything. Yeah, they were really nice on that cake we made, weren't yes. they? Yes, yeah. They just, they just seem, even the hat, in fact, one's falling off here, but the hat there, the little um, uh, Gertrude, her name is. Mm -hmm. Is that a name? I like yeah, that. Gertrude. We'll be doing that, hopefully I've now worked it out that I can actually do it as a workshop. Oh, so can you? Hopefully. Oh, I'm booking on that one now. <laughs> and yeah, there, there's loads, but it is, it's nice. So this is a quick way of doing them. Now, when I first started sugar paste, a long time ago, um, this is what we used to do. We used to get a um, blossom cutter, um, take the blossom out, so I used to put it on there, then cut it, Put it on foam, ball tool yeah. it, let it dry, then pick it up and then put it on your yeah. character. You don't have to do that now. No. Just pick it up, left it in the holder, a bit of glue, pick it up, push it straight on. Yeah, much easier, isn't easier. it? Easier. Yeah. So we put it on there, slide it off, keep it in the holder. You can put the glue on there or wherever you're going to put it and then press. And right. then to decorate. All the cutters that George is using today are the FMM cutters and they're all on the website. So Wendy, I know you've just asked, but that's where they are and they're on the wish list as well. So a little bit of glue. Pick up a few of the little holes and put it. It's decorated. So it depends, it's so easy. It's depending on um, what all the colours that you can get, yeah. all the sizes, it's easy. Yeah. So it's a very, very quick way of decorating your cakes. So they come in all different sizes. I think there's three sizes, isn't there? I think so, yeah. Yeah, they're all different sizes. The plunger is brilliant because it also comes with a bow cutter, a dove cutter, heart cutters. So you only need one and they click on to all the tops and nozzles. That one? In the camera, yeah. Don't wither that one. No, we've moved. Which we've camera moved. are we on? Come down, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so shall I do that again? Yeah. Right. Lovely little plunger cutter. You only need one. These come with doves, stars, hearts, blossoms, uh, and they're probably others. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of them. There's loads of them. So, so they buy the little cutters and one plunger, don't and they? And one plunger, yeah. yeah. They're, and they're all different sizes, so that's good. Right. I shall tell FMM I've been on here. Is yeah. Carol on here I at all? I shall tell them. Yeah, you tell them. Yeah. yeah. Right, so those, that was done. Right, this one. 
Right. I've already made the holes, is that all right? Just yep, perfect. So <laughs> I've just made the holes there. <laughs> Ready for the legs. Done that yesterday. And we choose, or should we have a stripy one? That is, yeah, no, don't worry about that one. Mm. Oh, that's it. Um, I love these stripy ones. This is a different way of doing the wobblies now, so it's not the same as the other two. Scissors, scissors. Yes. Right. Arms, legs. Fold in half and cut. Probably a bit too long for the ball. Let's cut it with a bit more. A right, little bit of glue. You don't need much. It's a shame when people do these lovely creations and you just see this glue squirting out everywhere. One leg. It's a touch. Easy. Let's take a little bit more of that one. I've now ruined my scissors. <laughs> right. And this is the these are the arms. Exactly the same as we did for the cat. Bend them in half. Me now. And that goes to the back of the character. It all depends what you're making. If you're making a ballerina and you want her to have long arms or she's doing a ballet pose, then you need the long arms. But if you're doing a little character, just cut, just cut them and snip them to fit whatever character you're making. Right. Okay. Shoes. Exactly the same. Shoes. 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 Green. So we're using exactly the same paste. This is a lovely green. Twelve grams. It all depends what you're making with shoes. If you're making a great big elf, say the elf down there, the shoes will probably be twenty grams cut in half. This is a little bit smaller, so you only need. Um, 12 grams. If you're doing a ballerina, it, it, it all depends on whether you want them to turn into boots. So really most of the designs are all in the books. The pirate as well with the little Wellington boots on. So there's two books guys, there's the Sugar Wobblies and then there's the Christmas ones. Yep. So there's two books for sale and they're both on the website. And Joe Slatley says, how do you get the glue marks off? Don't use too much glue. <laughs> There you go, Joe. I don't think you'll ever get it off because you get that shine. You get the shine in. You might try with a baby wipe. Yeah. But then you're still going to get a mark. So it really is just getting used to less, less glue. Yeah. yeah. I find if you put too much glue on things, slide down. It's slide down. Yeah. yeah. Right. Always need the paste when you take it out of the packet because this has been sitting there for probably months. It's got long, long shelf life. Um, this um, paste. Right, smooth ball. Cut in half. Two balls. And then press. So that's your little shoe. Now the shoes can be decorated. Um, there's loads of different designs on there. There's loads of different designs in the book. So a little bit of glue at the end of the pipe cleaners. And push on. So it's probably the quickest legs and shoes you've ever done. There you go. And don't fiddle. What we tend to do is get hold of them, wiggle them around, and you're going to make that hole bigger. If you make the hole bigger where you put the shoes on, that's when it, they fall off. So, shoes on and leave. And don't fiddle. 
Okay, easy. Yes. Fantastic. Arms. Well, I'm going to have to get rid of this sticky green. We're going into um, the hands. Now for the hands and face, I tend to use um, Shimmering Peach from Edible Art. It's a nice facial colour. Um, English rose colour. If you want it slightly darker, that's sugar and spice. But um, pearlised toffee is nice. Not pearlised toffee, Shimmering Peach. Sorry about that. So I've made some. And we're going to do hands. Again, these hands are small. Um, if you're doing something um, like an elf and you want the bigger hands, um, you just have to increase it. So these hands so are five grams. A yeah, things. So Lynn Sprules, yes, the models do go hard. They're not edible models, these. These are cake toppers for your cakes. You must tell your customers that they are not edible, okay? And they do set hard. Um, Georgie is using Renshaw flour and modelling paste. And then Lizzie, does the book show you how to get the wobblies to stand? No, you yeah, have to make three down. sitting down ones first. Yeah. So Georgie has a rule that you have to make three sitting down ones first. Once you know how to do them, then you'll learn how to do, do the stood up ones. Mm. It's a wobbly law. <laughs> it's a wobbly law. <laughs> <laughs> right, cut that in half. Oh. So in terms of demos for these cakes, these um, cakes, um, Georgie does um, classes at Renshaw Academy in Liverpool. They're fantastic cake classes, very, very reasonable. Um, I'm actually on one some on Tuesday, which is the Halloween characters class. I do know that one's sold out. Is tomorrow's class sold out, Georgie? I think there's a few spaces left. I think tomorrow's class at Renshaw, if you get online tonight, you'd better get on, because I think there is a couple of spaces left when I last looked. And that's a great class that you're doing tomorrow. And then Georgie does do classes all around the world and in the UK. The best thing to do is pop over to her, over to her Facebook page, message her, let her know what area you're in. And if she's nearby, she can let you know if she's nearby. Thank you. Yeah. Two balls, just push the pipe cleaner on, turn them over and press. Two hands. Easy when you know how. A little bit of glue around there. Don't, they don't, they've got to be positioned, so don't worry if you just push them down. Because when it's dry, you can't move these arms. Move them You can't move these arms or legs until they're dry. So the character needs to rest and dry before you um, put the next... Um, piece of paste on so you really need to wait and I know we haven't got patience to make it like that so that's the on right a frill to keep that on you we put a frill on I haven't got a clue on time I don't know if I'm over I'm no if you find it where I will tell you I'll tell you 15 minutes before so you've got 20 minutes oh it's going to be pressure before the 15 minutes before you've got 35 <laughs> minutes oh we're fine. but to be fair if you finish before then you finish early that's great so it's up to you i need a clock no <laughs> right. you finish when you're ready thank you right roll out your paste Two circles. These again, FMM. Oh, right. I'm going to see if we can get Jane booked on for tomorrow day. <laughs> Excuse us while we want to use this lovely board. Uh, Portia says that we're staying with you. <laughs> so everyone's staying with you at the moment. Who's staying, guys? Are you enjoying all this? It's great that Georgie's give up her Sunday afternoon to come along and show you how to do these wonderful characters. Yeah. Very easy on these boards to frill. Yeah. Very easy. Right. First one. This holds on this um, pipe cleaner 
on the back of the cocktail stick. So this is like the anchor. Once this is on and glued on, leave it to dry. Don't put the hands in the shape or anything and let it dry. Once it's dry, you can do what you want, but it does need to dry. A little bit of glue again, a bit of glue on there. And then this stops the arms and hands. Are we all right? Yeah, we're not all right. Yeah, we're okay. When that's dry, that stops the arms coming off. So can you see, um, with the pipe cleaner, once that goes hard, that's fine. Add another little bit of glue on the top, and we just push that down. Okay, now when we put the head on, a bit more glue. Now I've done the head already because you've seen me do the head. A bit of glue there. When you put it on, just put it on as the tilt. Watch the arms. There we go. <laughs> And I'll push down that back a little bit because we're going to put um, a butterfly somewhere. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. Any comments, queries on that one? We have to just wait. I don't know if you know how Facebook Live works. It's 30 seconds behind. Oh, is it? So when you, whatever's going on here now, yeah. it'll take 30 seconds for them to see it. Oh, right. Well, they all love it. Anyhow, the amount of love hearts and thumbs up that's just come. I like love hearts. It's hearts. fantastic. Good. Cat Riley, amazingly, says she's staying and watching. Oh. <laughs> so she can't get out the kitchen past us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, Absolutely cute. Cute, cute. All right. Wait. So I thought I had some brown. No. Yes. You know when you've made it up, you know when you've made it up. <laughs> right, we're going to do easy hair. I love easy hair. This is easy hair. Right. Again, yeah. FMM. I think I've got shares in FMM. <laughs> <laughs> I should be letting them know tomorrow. Will you let them know, please? I want some new yeah. products to try. Their order's just doubled tomorrow. <laughs> Georgie well, didn't tell me about half this stuff that I needed in stock. I thought, no, no, she wants to know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been on holiday. <laughs> right. Put you on there and you can see. That's right. right this is just, um, this is actually spiced ginger. I do like a bit of spiced ginger. Alison says she loves watching. It beats watching TV any day. Oh, thank you. Am I missing EastEnders? <laughs> Doreen says she loves all, she's loving all these and she'll have to get the books. There's two books available, everyone. There's the Sugar Wobblies and the Sugar Wobblies char Christmas characters. They're both on the website. Uh, they're in the new arrivals and they're on the wish list. Right, I've cut out a circle that's quite thin. This is the smallest circle of the four of them. Ellie says she's supposed to be doing the housework, but she's watching you. Oh, know the housework. And then sharp little scissors and snip. Snip. Right. And wipe. See how it curls? There you go. We've got another customer in with you tomorrow. Jane, she's just booked on. Is she really? <laughs> yeah, good. Hey. I wish I was going tomorrow, but I can't make it. But I'm there on Tuesday. Yeah. It's probably booked Tuesday, isn't it? Right, a little bit of glue. Just a little bit. Am I in the way? Am I moving? Do you want me to move up this way? That's the reason I can move the way. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, everybody's missing work tomorrow. Right, a little bit of glue on the head. Smooth this. Can you see it curls? Yep. And then I fluff that up. Another one. Sorry, it's going to be tedious for a few minutes. Don't worry, no. They like to see how it's done. Mm -hmm. So, any of you guys who are watching, there's a couple of spaces left. 
over on Georgie's class tomorrow at the Renshaw Academy. It's a great class. You get a coffee and a biscuit when you arrive. You get a coffee and a cake. I've never had so much food. If, if, there's, if, if there's, so they give you a little I've got sweet. supplies for it. Yeah. They give you a, they give you a coffee and a cake at um, mm. break. Then they give you your lunch. Then coffee and cake in the afternoon. And then you go home with your models. And a goodie bag. And a goodie bag. Oh yeah, you get a great goodie bag as yes. well, don't you? Yeah. You get a pin in it, and sugar paste in it, don't you? Oh, it's it's lovely. Yes, it's so nice. So, and very reasonably priced. How much is the class tomorrow? Seventy-five. Yeah. Seventy-five. Yeah. So there's a, there's a couple of spaces left tomorrow. We've got Jane. We've got a few people who don't know. We've got a few people here in the kitchen watching. And one of those ladies, a lovely lady called Jane, who follows us, and she's just booked on. Um, <laughs> I'm going to the Tuesday class, but that one's fully booked. So. If you want to meet Georgie tomorrow, get over to Renshaw. If I've got enough supplies. <laughs> I'll cut out two more. Do you have to provide the cake and biscuits? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. provide that, don't they? Yeah, they provide everything. Yeah. I normally used to, um, get the, um, either the, not the board so much, but the polystyrene bits because I know what I want and yeah, yeah it's good. Right, can you see what I'm doing? Do you want to come in the centre of this it more, towards Laura? Yeah. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> okay. So this is very, very quick hair. If you look at these, exactly the same. Jacqueline Hemfold needs to put the meat in the oven for dinner, <laughs> for dinner but she can't stop watching. You're going to have to carry your iPad with you. I like you. that. <laughs> I like that. The Renshaw website, Samantha, if you just Google Renshaw Academy, so wrench, go Google Renshaw Academy and then go down to courses and you might be able to just sneakily get on tomorrow's class. There are love, there's some lovely car classes. Yeah, there is. There's some fantastic, there's some fantastic classes. classes, yeah. Well, it's been lovely to be asked to do workshops there. Jennifer said, can you take, she's up in Scotland, can you take the class on tour? <laughs> you, you invite me, I'll go. <laughs> Have you got any Scottish classes? Uh, yes, next year. I'm doing Edinburgh. Yeah. Uh, not Edinburgh, no, 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 no. Um, oh, um, Region 1, BSG Region 1. Um, I don't know, where's that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, you know when you're doing classes, you should shout out on our group about them. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not on my page, on my group. <laughs> <laughs> she, she asked me the other week, could she post on the, on the group and then post it in the page? Well, probably, because I'm thinking, where do you post? Where do you post this? So George is, is going to Scotland next year. Yeah. Private Me message Georgie and she'll tell you where she is, providing you tell her where you are. Somebody on there's BSG, Region 1. Oh, the British Sugar Crack. British Sugar Crack, Region, Region, one. One. Region yeah. 1 exhibition. Hmm? The British Sugar Crack, what did you think it was? I thought it was a big friendly giant. giant. <laughs> She, she got F instead of S. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Can you see? Yep, everybody alright? I'll do yep. one more at the front. Oh, there's a lady here watching who's doing your class on Tuesday. So I'll see you there as well, Adele. Lovely. Here I look. Going down. The Scottish are looking forward to you arriving. Oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a love going up there. <laughs> Any in the North East or Wolverhampton? Not that I can remember. No. I'm going down to Brighton. Yeah, that's a long way. I know. There could be some people there from Sussex. My brother lives in Brighton. I've got a few. And then I'm back in Renshaw in October for two. Two more classes, um, classes in, October. in October. Are they on the calendar then? Like on, on Renshaw yeah, they're calendar. on the calendar, yeah. Um, oh, it's a Christmas theme. Christmas pudding with mice or something, I think. That's on the 19th. That's on the 19th and the 18th, is it? Or the first one? I can't remember. No, the 19th what. is the pumpkin one. And then it's, a, it's an actual pumpkin. And this witch has hit the side of the pumpkin. But her um, broomsticks come out the other side. So she's splattered. And on the top is a laughing cat dressed up as a witch. 
um, with loads of other bits and things going on as well. But you'll learn how to cover um, a sphere because that's actually going to be cake on that one. There we go. So it's all a bit rough there, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> I didn't plan this on this. Bookings on the 18th of October. Have you found it? So to go on, go, go on coming soon. Uh, and then on the 19th is a Christmas pudding. Yeah, Christmas pudding. Yeah, that's going to be fun. It's a cake. We make it look like the Christmas pudding with fruit and painting, and that's good. All uh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So tomorrow you're making owls tomorrow, aren't you? Owls tomorrow on tree trunks and owls. Can you see the owl one, Laura? So anybody who wants to go to Renshaw tomorrow to see George, you will be making owls. This is fantastic. Can you see it? If there's space. <laughs> if there's space. Mm. No. You get cat to push it in. It's, I think I've lost connection on that camera. Yeah, I've lost that camera. Well, Matthew did the 18th and 19th of October. <laughs> mm. Well, we've got no light because Laura and Marie Right. So, we've got the hair on, and then we're going to put a little hat on. So, again, a bit of blue. And this is only tiny, um, a tiny little bit of Tylo. A little bit of water is glue. That's a block, the big blossom. That covers up her patch. And then a little bit of glue in the middle. It's all gone quiet here. <laughs> and then push that in the middle. So you've got a hole. And then so it looks like she's got a little strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, she looks a bit pasty faced at the moment, so we'll the brushes. some pink. This is bubblegum pink. Now a nice flat brush. Dust the excess off on your hand and from her nose very gently. Can you turn it around to the camera so they can see? That way? Yeah. I'll hop over the other side then. Yeah. <laughs> now, hold on folks. You're going to do it back to front. <laughs> See what I'm doing, but oh, it's all right, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah, you can fiddle around more than me. And butterfly wings, there are butterfly cutters, lots and lots of them. So, if you've got time, you can actually make one out of paste. If you haven't got time, I've brought some. I've left the wire on. I take the wire to the front. Can you come down a bit? That's it. You can stick them on with royal icing. Nobody's going to eat this. Don't do that on me. So you're all right to use a paper butterfly. Oh, I've turned this around. Right, you don't need this money. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's get all three There's of them. There's your three together. models. Let's put them on this board as it's nice and thick. I hope you've enjoyed.
enjoyed it. I hope you've all learned something. It's been very quick. Loads. <laughs> Hasn't she been a superstar today? <laughs> Giving up her Sunday. So Georgie is um, demonstrating in Liverpool tomorrow and Tuesday and on her way up, I've been chasing this lady around <laughs> to get her in the sugar and crumbs kitchen, but she doesn't drive herself. So she's had to fit it in when her husband can bring her up. And uh, you've done absolutely fantastic Thank today. You. Oh, no, you've been really good. It's been fantastic in the kitchen. I hope you've learned lots of things. We've really enjoyed having Georgie here. Everything that she's used is on the website. Some things you will need to pop into Hobbycraft to buy or your local craft store. Um, you know, like the flower, the, the little, where did you get those from? They're like a little craft Sandwich. store, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. You will find them. A couple of things you might need to pop onto Amazon for, you know, and um, I'm, I'm sure you've got lots of things anyhow, but everything is on the Facebook wish list. So please get those thumbs up and a big thank you. And if you can get on tomorrow's class, there's a couple of spaces left available. You also know that she is fully booked on Tuesday. But what you have got is if you go to Renshaw Academy, um, come in soon, press that button. I didn't know you could actually press that button. So well done, Karen. <laughs> right? I thought it was just coming soon. We had to wait. So but if you press that, you'll see that she's got two dates in October, the 18th and 19th. I'm going to book on both. So you can get to see her again there. <laughs> So I'm going to book on those as well. So that will be great if you can join us. But the big thumbs up. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody in the kitchen watching today. Hope you've enjoyed it. We've got Kat Riley, Iris Shuttleworth, Karen Griffiths, Jane Micklelove. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll try it. Try Never try mind. It. We've got Maria and Laura in the kitchen. All of them have given up their Sunday to be here today. Thank you for joining us as well. And we're here tomorrow night with Vidya making paper flowers tomorrow. She's got a new design to make. And um, then there's no live on Thursday because I'm going to Ireland to see John's family. There's no live on Monday because it's the bank holiday. And we're back on the 6th of September, Thursday the 6th of September, where we're actually doing our live from Hobbycraft headquarters. How good is that? Headquarters, yeah. Did you get that? Nice. Headquarters. <laughs> So we're back on the 6th of September. So tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, is the last live. Please come and join us. It's going to be a great session, and we'll see you then. So thank you, everybody, and thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> like and share. Don't forget, like and share. Laura's like that. Like and share. <laughs> like and share. <laughs>